We want all the children to come forward. Please come and sit here. We're going to be, in five minutes, we're going to tell you a true story. It's going to be beautiful. Sit down, please. Bring your kids. If you have a little toddlers, bring them in, and they, that, that way they can learn. Little by little, they will learn. It's going to be a true story. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Only God knows how many pastors we have here. Many lawyers. Presidents. Please. Sit in the pew. Go up. Go to the second pew. It's easier to find chairs in the church than people. It's easier. Okay. The story we're going to talk about today is going to be about a young boy. Shh, listen up. A young boy named, nah, we're going to call him Nene or Nene. Nene, Nene means baby in Espanol. That's what the parents used to call him. So this boy grew up, listen to me, he grew up in New York City. And in New York City, they don't have a lot of parks like we do here in Miami. They only have buildings and stores and apartments and more stores and police uh, uh, offices and more buildings. So there was no place for the kids to play. So what did they do? They play on the sidewalk, el andén, right? Where you walk. That's where they had to play. That was their park. Who is eight years old in here? Any boys? Are you eight? Stand up, please. The story is about, stand up. The story is about a young boy about his age. You can see that. Well, in New York City, they had a game. Juan Carlos, nuestro nuevo amigo, please. They had a game called a stickball is the other part. Sorry. So, so what they did, they used to do this. They took it apart. There you go, Juan Carlos. We feel like in Sábado Gigante aquí. <laughs> Thank you. He's our visitor. Give him, a, give him a round of applause. He's a visitor. Gracias. And then they used to take the, the broom's handle and they played baseball with it. It's called steak ball, right? So they will, they will play and they hit the ball hard on the street, and uh, the hours win and win and win, and kids love, kids love to play that, you know. So one Wednesday evening in the summertime, a voice of a mother comes from the second floor. He goes, Nene, we're going to church. Come inside and eat, because we got to go to the prayer meeting on Wednesday night. And the little boy, Nene, was like, all right, I guess. So he put the steak down, and he went upstairs, and he ate the supper. And the mother was fixing herself, you know, getting ready for church on Wednesday. And guess what? He, he snuck out, and he went downstairs, and they started playing steak ball again with his buddies. And it was getting dark, and he was in the front of the street. And they said, oh, oh, Nene, let's play a few more minutes. So he started playing, and he got the bat or the stick. The friend threw the ball, and the ball went too far, and he started running, and uh, he couldn't stop. Oh, so he went on the street. When he stopped in the middle of the street, guess what happened? Bam! Uh, a yellow taxi cat, bam, hit him hard. True story. The poor boy... Couldn't see, and the next time he woke up, he was in the hospital for a whole month. 30 days in the hospital. Listen up. He broke this bone. It's called a jaw. This bone. It's a cool bone. It looks like a horseshoe. This one, we use it every day to laugh, to eat, to chew gum, to talk. We use this a lot. La quijada. He broke it. All his teeth fell off. All of these teeth fell off, up and down. And they put boy was in the hospital, and he broke his left foot. Big, big accident. And after a month, after the parents, they suffer, they cry. The boy asked their mother and dad for forgiveness, and God for, uh, they forgave him. And he grew up, he got fixed him. He grew up to be somebody that uses his jaw. Every single day to work because he talks for a living. 
He talks for a living. He has a nice voice. He has a good sense of humor. And you know what? God is like the parents. Never do a little fist with your right hand like this. Go like this. God always loves me. You too. Always. Every second, every minute, every year, every day, every month. Always. And left on the other face, he always forgives. He loves fixing people. He fixes his job. And he grew up to be somebody very special. Never forget that God fixes people. And you want to know that young man is here. You want to meet him? He grew up and he speaks for a living. His jaw is fixed. His foot is fixed. God loves to fix people. If you have an uncle, if you have a sister, if you have a brother, if you have a mom that does something wrong, if they drink, if they do anything wrong, pray because God loves fixing people. Pastor Badillo, stand up, please. He's the young boy. Turn around. God fixes people. So if you see a drunk in the street, pray to God because God can fix him. If you see somebody stealing on TV, pray for the bad guys on TV because he loves fixing people. Go and stay with your parents. Have a good day. Bye.